Well, now I'm going to show you the latest um, device that I have put together using a Step 7 300 PLC with IOs built in. Um, also, I'm using a stepper motor driver, a homebrew one using CMOS uh, gates and flip flops. This is the uh, stepper motor that that I obtained from a deceased inject printer. Right here, go around here this way. This is the uh, inject cartridge carrier. There is a limit switch that I have uh, placed there, wired it to the PLC. And uh, I'm coupling PLC to the driver, which uses 12 volts and 5 volts. This is a XT power supply. I'm getting 12 and 5 volts. So uh, there's 12 and 5 volts to go here to the stepper motor driver. Uh, 12 volts are needed for the coils and they, uh, the CMOS, I'm actually driving them with 5 volts and so to convert from 24 volts to uh, 12 volts I use optocouplers here I use 1k resistors to drop the current 24 volts down to 20 milliamps that I need here and on the other side of the optocouplers there are two diodes, uh, LEDs and resistors to obtain the 5 volts that I need for the stepper motor driver here. And this uh, strip of clamps here that I used to connect the stepper motor to the driver is just uh, something handy that I had around because I have several stepper motors and I like to that um, I connected the stepper motor here because I have several stepper motors. I have a box filled with them down there, plenty of them. So I tried different uh, stepper motors several times, so that's what I use. And also, I am connecting the MPI interface from PLC, the PLC to uh, that shows how to interface the PLC with further electronics and I am using also HMI uh, and uh, WinCC uh, 208 flexible and step 7 manager to program these two. So here I have my laptop running running uh, Step 7 Manager and I have a simple I mean, just, just two operating uh, blocks OB1 and OB100 uh, uh, to control this like now here the, the motor Right now it's sitting at zero, so it doesn't have any need to go home. But let's just move it away from home here. Let's try 200. Let's move into 200, which is about there. Now, if I press uh, memory reset on the PLC, I will trigger a reset that will run. Uh, OB100, which is the startup first scan cycle on the PLC. So here it goes. Memory reset, run. It goes to home. And once it gets home, the value uh, from it's, the value zero is transferred to uh, to DB1, DB0. So there you have it. Uh, simple control for a stepper motor can be assembled 
with simple electronics and 